Brighton's finest. This is Juice. What is your name and occupation? My name is Simon. My occupation is a uh, musician. <laughs> if you could sell a dream merchandise, what would it be? Ooh, I like to sell like um, a tracksuit, a Franco Bolo tracksuit. Because you um, guys don track tracksuits, don't you, on stage? Yeah, I mean, we, we do all the Yeah, but I really like to design a, a proper Franco Bolo tracksuit. It'd be great. Now you were at South by Southwest, and it's a bit of a whirlwind of a of a festival. And it looks like yeah. uh, from your dates you were there for pretty much the duration of it. Actually, what weird and wonderful stuff did you get to see? I mean, America is so big, and because I haven't been to America that much, so every time I go, it still feels like um, like I'm in a film, like I'm in a Hollywood film. So <laughs> the first few days, I just can't help but walk around laughing at everything. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to pick anything that's weird. Everything is quite weird in America. Mm. Like, a great, weird. I think the strangest thing in South by is when someone pulls, like, a um, gun and there's a big crowd. Like, it creates this kind of, sh- like, wave of panic. It's yeah. horrible. My oh, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awful when you see, because there's, like, loads of people there and it's, like, so jam packed and then hear people screaming and all the bars like close their doors and stuff and then it's just this wave of panic trying to like run away because someone could like that. That sounds that's, horrible. That's quite weird. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess that's completely legal to for someone to... Yeah, yeah, it's open. It's to open to carriage. Yeah, so. Ridiculous. Absolutely <laughs> yeah. ridiculous. It sounds like just a bit surreal, the festival, because there is just yeah, so much I mean, it's, stuff it's, going on. It's quite mad. And there's so many characters in town, if you know what I mean? Like, there's so many people telling you their story and, and blessing you for different things and giving you life lessons. Yeah. Wherever you go, people are kind of like... <laughs> and off into the distance you shall walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting place, really. It's quite overwhelming, actually. I get quite tired. Yeah, <laughs> so if you were a kitchen appliance, what would you be? And could you make the sound of that appliance? It would be uh, like one of those mixers. And it would sound... That was incredibly close to the actual sound. I'm, I'm well <laughs> I just actually made a smoothie this morning, so the sound was quite fresh. What's the best heckle you have ever witnessed? Uh, I kind of like the whole classic fruit thing, throwing fruit at someone. And I've seen that a few times. You've got to be really bad to have a fruit in front of you. Yeah, especially if it's like a melon or a pineapple or something. Yeah. <laughs> Who in the band makes the best drink? I would say Sam, he has most knowledge. I think the rest of us, the Swedes are quite wild and quite uh, temperamental, so you never know what you're going to get. But Sam is probably a bit more steady. Would you have dinner with Freddie Mercury or David Bowie, and where would you take them? Ooh, David Bowie, definitely. But if I could, I would take them both. I'd probably eat, like, sushi or something. It's like a good meal to discuss things over. (laughs) This is Brighton's Finest. Bringing the artists closer to you. Juice.